Hello, this is Roger. This video is going to describe how to use Bullzip, a PDF printer in Windows 7. Using Bullzip allows educators such as myself or other professionals to save paper by saving things that you would print, such as student data, to a PDF file. I like Bullzip because the settings allow you to make the process simple and is very customizable. You can download Bullzip from CNET.com. Type in Bullzip in the search box and then click download now. Once you've downloaded and installed it, you can um, change the settings by clicking start, all programs, Bullzip, PDF printer, and options. You'll want to make changes in the general dialogues and actions tab to set it up for quick print. I use this with students and to keep it simple for them um, you'll want to have the append if output exists check and the remember last folder check the confirm overwrite uncheck and remember last file name uncheck sometimes I check this um, when I'm printing student progress notes if I'm printing the same file multiple times uh, wanting to print it in the same spot I'll check this. I'll go back into the options. But for general day-to-day -day use, I leave it up. In the Dialogs tab, you'll want the Save As dialog always, the Settings dialog never, and the, you can check or uncheck this. It doesn't. Really. In the Actions, you'll want Open Destination folder after creation, uncheck, and show document, no, then click apply, and OK. Now let me show you how it works. If I wanted to print how my students did a spelling test, uh, this is from Spelling City, a great website that allows um, to, for spelling as a speech therapist. I use it um, for articulation frequently, and, such as our words here. As a student takes the spelling test, it reads the word and then has it in a sentence. And I'll have the student say the word and sentence and then practice spelling off. Alright, to print it uh, in Chrome, I hit Control P. And then you'd want to find um, Bullzip in the printer tab here and click Bullzip PDF printer and then click print. Then um, initially you'll want to find the folder that you want to save to. And then I usually save it. Um, using the student's initial. Alright, and then click Save. And it shows that it was printed. To simplify this for students to use, um, you'll, you'd want to set the bullzip as a um, default printer. In Windows 7, to do this, you click Start, and, um, Devices and Printer, then find Bullzip PDF Printer, right click on it, and click Set as Default Printer. Okay, now let me show you how easy it would be for students to use. So, Say a student just took a test on pre um, prepositions here. 
Dang. Turn it. And find their name. Now they could either click on it and click save, type in the initials in the file name, or just double click it. And now the file has been printed and merged with the the other information that the student has. Let me show you what it looks like here. So here you can see the first page that I printed and then the second um, thing that I printed because of the pictures had multiple pages. By the shows how the student So with Bullzip you can um, save a file to the PDF and then, and then when you're done you can copy, print, or email the PDF that you saved. And you can merge multiple um, print jobs into one.